Hi Pisces, welcome to your case of the X reading. This will be four cards here for you representing your ex, your ex-partner, your ex-spouse, your ex-lover, what they've been going through. So thank you. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe. <laughs> really appreciate that. Wheel of Fortune here. Um, and we'll take it from there. Otherwise, stay tuned. So Wheel of Fortune, King of Pentacles, the High Priestess. And the moon. Okay, the wheel of fortune. Things are looking on the up and up with your with some of your exes. I feel like for some of you it's fated to be this way. Whether you've broken up, you need the time off, you need to um, go separate paths for a re for you know a reason or another to have another relationship to learn something about yourself. Maybe to finally see what it is that you've lost. Maybe to come back together. Because when I see the wheel of fortune, I think. Not only fate and destiny and things being in your path, I also think of serendipity because it's this beautiful, fateful moment where you're meant to bump into someone else. You're meant to either come back with this ex or potentially have a new relationship. So it's either for them, because it's, this is a reading on them, I feel like it's either they're coming to full circle, they're learning about themselves and you could potentially be reunited Pisces, or there's someone else here that's meant to be in their path. But things are definitely looking on the up and up. So if it's been a bit turbulent, you know, if the breakup has been a bit, you know, arduous, it's been tough, it's been really hurtful, I feel like your ex is slowly recovering from this. Um, you know, the Wheel of Fortune talks about things being on the up and up, things coming to a full circle, fortuitous things coming in. Um, things are definitely looking up for your ex here, which is really positive to see. Um... Now there could be there could be certain things that are fated to be in your ex's path. For some of you, you might be having children together. There's pets in here, so you may be um, fighting over who keeps the pet or missing a pet. Maybe your ex is missing a pet that they live has lived with you and them, and then they've had to move out. And um, or an asset, even the King of Pentacles, there's a large asset here as well. So there's for some of you, you will be squabbling maybe legally fighting over assets um, since the split. <clears throat> now, um, there could be a Taurus or another Cancer Pisces or Scorpio that's coming in for your ex. Um, it could be you or specifically a Taurus or another Earth sign, Virgo or a Capricorn that's coming into your ex's path here. There's also something that's going to come to light some sort of information regarding your ex or some information about you that your ex is going to learn through the high priestess here. But let me move on to the king of pentacles. <clears throat> so if it's not an earth sign that's coming into your ex's um, path, then I feel like work-wise or asset-wise, you might hear of your um, ex doing extremely well, climbing the ladder at work, financial gains, having a lot of assets, feeling really established. <clears throat> For some, you've parted with your ex and they're... Um, they've completely grown up, they've matured, they've really established themselves, they've made a name for themselves. The King of Pentacles is a very strong and established figure. Um, it's one that's very grounded, one that's very sensual, so I feel like this person is definitely blossoming and growing in beautiful ways here, Pisces. This person is really learning about themselves um, <clears throat> um, and really attaining either material or physical wealth, you know, becoming extremely more attractive. I feel like they really have their stuff together and you might... You might come back in each other's life when, when they do have their stuff together. If they didn't before, then they do now for some of you. And this is going to really, really impress you. Um, this is also an asset. So there could be ongoing, as I said, legalities over an asset, a car, um, a home, and you know, a joint financial account here as well with the King of Pentacles. Or it's a strong earth sign that this, that's in this person's path um, that they're sort of fated to be with. For some of you, not for all. There could also be a pregnancy around your ex here. So it's either they've gotten someone pregnant, they become pregnant by someone, maybe they become pregnant by you, or you become pregnant by them. A high priestess often denotes um, uh, pregnancy, a new idea, productivity, but she also makes things come to light. So you're going to hear about something of your ex, or as I said, they're going to hear something from you. Something is going to come to elimination. They could finally confess their undying love for you. They could even propose um, they could suddenly and unexpectedly get engaged or, you know, elope with someone else. 
the High Priestess, especially paired with the Wheel of Fortune here, are a really big indicator of fate and destiny and things beyond our control. I mean, we can only manifest so much in our lives, but sometimes things are in our path and we have the free will. We have the option to either take them on board, go down that path or, you know, change course, stop, change course and go the other way. So I, I feel like some things are um, not necessarily predetermined, but I feel some things are in your path for a reason. They're going to be there regardless of your circumstances and whether you choose to take the you know, you choose to go with this person, you choose to do this, you choose to be in that industry. I feel like that's sort of, you know, slightly based on free will and chance, I suppose. But these two together indicate this is a prophecy. This is something that will come true. This is something that is in their fate, that is in their path. It could either be you coming together. Fate, I feel like fate has plans for your ex here. Um, there could be a pregnancy. There could be a coupling up. I really like the, the black and the white. I feel like they will couple up. If it's not with you, then it's someone that's going to balance them out harmoniously. Um, they could even be dealing with, you know, this this water or earth sign that is very established and is very grounded and that's going to attract them um, most definitely here. So the High Priestess is, you know, a prophecy. This is fate. Something is about to come true. It's almost like an oracle. It's a peer into the future. Um, they might have um, a premonition of some kind. They might undergo some sort of esoteric influence. They could get into spirituality, into yoga, um, into consulting a tarot reader, a medium, a clairvoyant. I feel like they're opening themselves up um, in this sort of way. But this is also something coming to light, finding out something that might throw you off a little bit, finding out something that could really shake up your world about your ex maybe it's about their past maybe that they've had a child before or that they've gotten someone pregnant or you know they've previously been pregnant so there's this could certainly come up for some of you we also have the moon card this is your card pisces cancer pisces or scorpio this is also a card of creativity premonition um, and perhaps even anxiety so as i mentioned there's a strong link to premonitions here um it could be that your ex is having lots of dreams about you, lots of premonitions into the future, potentially seeing you in their long-term future here. This is also anxiety and intuition. I feel like they're very in tune. They're sort of in sync with what's going on with you at the moment. Um, I also feel like there's creativity here or a strong water sign that's around them that's still influencing, influencing them in a really, really large way. It's either causing them anxiety or they're just trying to become so spiritually aligned with you and on the same vibration to maybe attract you into their life again. Or if it's not you, then it's definitely a new water sign that's coming in for them that's having quite a strong influence over them. There's pets here, there's water, there's emotion, there's feeling. Um, it could be loss. You know, it could be that they're missing companionship. You know, you, we do have a dog here. Mm, what looks like a dog over here. You know, and the dog is um, loyalty. So it could be maybe you've had issues with loyalty. Maybe they weren't loyal or you weren't loyal. Um, maybe that this is why they're having anxiety. Maybe they miss that loyalty. Maybe they miss that affection and that loyalty that someone can devote to them. Um, I really think that a lot of your, your exes are concentrating on what's happening in their life career-wise and perhaps in other aspects. And then they're missing that, that loyalty that affection, maybe they're no longer receiving it, you know, they could be single, or maybe they miss it so much they're willing to settle with some of these other new people um, that may be around them trying to pursue them. But there's definitely, you know, anxiety and hurt. They're really trying to be the best version of themselves. They're trying to clean up their act, I think, for some. But for some, you'll definitely hear they've gotten pregnant or they're wanting to have a child or they're going to have a child with someone else very, very quickly. And I feel like this is fate. This is something they can't necessarily control here. But um, I hope this has been insightful for you, uh, Pisces. You know, I hope it's sort of giving you a glimpse into what your ex may be going through at the moment. Obviously, it won't apply to each and every one of you. Um, but yes, I do hope it has been insightful. Uh, thank you so much for your viewership, for joining me, for subscribing, liking, um, sharing, commenting. All the support means so much to me. So thanks again and hopefully I'll chat to you soon.